So now we're doing a video to show you something's going on. This bee ate some of us talking about this flower and it's walking around like it's drunk or disoriented and it's not flying. Usually when these bees have this problem, they don't fly. This bee doesn't have any pollen on it, but it can't seem to find its way. And my guess is it'll do the same thing I've seen happen before where it'll just die. There's another flower a little further over here and I'll show you the same thing's happening on this, with this one right here. This bee here is pretty well not moving at all anymore. See? They eat, they eat from these flowers, but if you look at the flowers, they don't look very healthy. See that discoloration? Same thing you were seeing in all the leaves that I was showing you. So we'll come back to that one. I'm going to go back to this other bee because it's still moving. And most likely this video is going to catch it dying. Not very pleasant, but I want you to see what's happening here. Like this bee is having a problem walking, it can't fly. You know, it, it ate some of this flower. But if you look at the center of the flower and go up close, I'll show you, see how they, how they look? See the discoloration and, and the funny edges on these on this stuff? It's the same thing as on the leaves. You look at the look at this bee, like it's really struggling to walk. I'll do this video for a little while, I think it's going to be interesting. It's not, the bee is not eating any pollen. It's like, it doesn't, it seems like it doesn't know what to do, where it's going. It's not walking very healthy. And since I'm zoomed right in, you can see that it's fumbling and it's tripping. Well, the other bee that I showed you a second ago on the other flower, it's dead, it's not moving. This is the third video I'm doing. And this one here is really good because it's nice and clear. You get to watch this bee walk around and realize something's not right here. It's like it's lost. Right? Bees don't act like this. This is not natural. It's not lost. It doesn't want any pollen. It already had some. It tried to eat some of that flower. I think it's actually doing pretty good because the other bees that I've seen when they do this, they start moving really slow, they just stop moving and just die. Other people have noticed there's something wrong too and it's now. So you keep watching this and you tell me if this is normal behavior for, for a bee. See it's fumbling and almost falling off. The reason why it's going through this is it can't fly. Something it ate is messing up its nervous system. It's like I said, the chemtrails in the sky with the radiation from Fukushima. Because last year I never saw anything like this. We've had chemtrails for a while, but we've never had radiation coming down from the sky. You can see what I mean now. Keep watching, you can see. This bee keeps falling over. It's, it's like lost, it's fumbling. But like I said before, Usually when a bee gets into trouble, when it lands on a flower, it doesn't last this long. I mean, you know, you and me can figure out this. It's not able to push with its legs properly. Well, I'm going to go back and show you the other one now. It was moving when I first pulled up here. I could see it, it, its tentacles were moving. But as you can see, that bee is no longer moving. It's like dead. If it wasn't dead, you'd see some kind of life in it. You'd see it moving, but there's nothing moving. And the other bee, it's probably still, I, I'm, I'm gonna zoom back to the other bee when I can see it with my eyes. I don't know what happened to the other bee. It might've fallen off the flower. Okay. It's dead. Explain that to me. Go ahead, tell me. Why are the bees dying when they land on these flowers? I'm going to go down this plant next to it and show you something. Can you see you see all this stuff on the leaves right here? That's not fall color, folks. There's something falling from the rain that does this to the plants. And this is what these, these bees are eating, is whatever's on these plants, it's eating it. 
That's the future of the world. Contaminated soil. And the radiation just started falling back last year from, from uh, Fukushima. I noticed this year that small trees, when they first sprouted their leaves in, the sp in spring, they died. And the bigger trees are having problems. They're all discolored. But next year, we're going to have a lot more dead trees than we have now. I'm going to move around and see if I can spot this, this bee wherever it went because I can't sit here staring at a flower. It went underneath the flower and I don't know where it is. Oh, there it is. Bees, uh, when they die on flowers, they can die underneath the flower. They can die anywhere because their, their little feet have hooks on them. And they... Um, I'm just trying to find where I'm at here. There it is. So when they die, their feet stay hooked. So there's that bee that we were looking at that's in trouble. I'm gonna back up a bit more so I can get it clearer. Just the way cameras work. And the people who uh, look at these flowers, they don't realize that something's wrong with all what's happening to the bees. There we go. So we can see pretty clearly this bee here, and it's not moving anymore. Like I said, when the bees land on the on the flowers, they uh, they they start moving really slow, and then they just die. And that bee is underneath that flower, and it's dead. So I'm going to turn off the video. This is a pretty good one. It showed you how, how the bee landed, started eating, and then it died.